there, my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now Taurus, I'm going to start your reading off with a passage from this beautiful book called The Luminous Humanness. It's written by Kelly Sullivan Walden. After I read you this passage, I'm going to go ahead and pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you. After that, I'm going to pull an animal spirit oracle card, which is your bonus card. So any of you that have had an animal come into your awareness, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. And then I'm going to pull an angel number for you as well. So those of you that have been seeing angel numbers anywhere in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. All right, everyone. So stay tuned for all of this. Now, your passage today is called Feel for It, Find It, Flip It. When you feel stressed, afraid, or disconnected, it's as if the lights have been extinguished. Instead of panicking, breathe deeply in and out as you move your hands along your internal wall, wall in the direction of where you last saw the light switch. Okay? By connecting with the energy that allows you to feel even a teeny bit better, you will eventually find your way to becoming more inwardly luminous. Once you discover even a flicker of your light and revel in how wonderful it feels, it begins to spark more of your internal joy. Each time you do this, you remember more vividly where your inner light switches. And even in the darkest winter, you'll always be able to find it. So I feel like this is such a powerful passage for you today, Taurus. Now, this also comes with an affirmation. I'm going to read this to you as well. The more open, sorry, the more often I flip on my inner light switch, the more easily I find it the next time. So the more you use that uh, light switch, the more you're able to find it and quicker. So that's a beautiful affirmation for you today, Taurus. Thank you so much for allowing me to share that with you today. All right, my friends, we got two that jumped out cards. So I'm going to use those. I'm going to keep shuffling these. And I wanted to remind everyone, we have some more magic intention candles. Any of you that are interested in purchasing these, the link is in the description box below. These are great Christmas gifts. My sister-in-law also is making some moon bath salt. So any of you interested in this, I'll leave the link in the description box below. All right, my friends, let's pull some cards here. So let's just take a look. I'm going to split this deck here really quick. And let's just see what jumped out for you. Ace of Swords. So Taurus, there's some sort of an idea, something that has come in intuitively. And this is opening up a new path for you. Whatever this is, it's going to be of positive effect in your life. This could be an idea. This could be a truth. Whatever this is, you're meant to follow it. This is intuition that has come in for you, Taurus. This is big, big deal here, my friends. So I don't want you to take this lightly here, okay? Next, we are getting the Three of Pentacles. Know that all of your hard work is not going to go unnoticed, Taurus. I feel that some of you are working hard and people are going to take notice of this. And I feel that they're going to level up in a way through this process. Now, what I want you to do here, Taurus, is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up, I want you to try and interpret them for yourself using your intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. All right. So we've got the three of pentacles and we're getting the empress card now. So major arcana card, the energy of the empress is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely and others you're going to feel this subtly. So growth and abundance, that is on your mind. This is what's coming in for you. This is what you are creating. So I do feel a lot of you are in creation mode right now. Very feminine energy. So spirit guides are wanting you to be open and receptive to all that is coming towards you. Because we have a major arcana card in your spread, this is letting me know that there is some big change coming into your life, Taurus. So be ready for that, my friends. So give me a moment while I take a look at your cards and see what my intuition is drawing in. So what I'm getting here is you're about to switch things up, Taurus. I feel so you have had some sort of an idea. Perhaps you were speaking with someone. Maybe there's something someone said recently that has sparked something in your mind, some sort of an idea, a thought. Perhaps this is a dream. Maybe you were writing something down and something sparked within your mind. And this is really going to help you kind of 
it's going to inspire you is what I'm getting here. And it's going to inspire you to really work hard towards your goals. Okay. And because you're going to work hard, you're going to see a lot of growth and abundance in your life ultimately. So some of you have this grand idea or some beautiful idea about creating something in your world. And what I'm getting here is this might be a business idea. Perhaps some of you have had a thought in your mind for a while um, of doing something, right? Maybe you're wanting to learn the guitar. Maybe you're wanting to do that for uh, professionally, right? Or perhaps you're wanting to start a YouTube channel. The thought is there. I'm seeing a thought in your mind. You're really thinking about this Taurus and you're thinking about how you're going to make things happen. And you know, this is a great idea. And I'm seeing someone sitting on a couch watching TV with their thought kind of whirling around. And I feel for some of you, this comes and goes, but it is so strong that it's getting your attention. Perhaps you've been dreaming about this. This is how strong this is. And spirit guides are saying that this is your intuition shining some light into your thoughts, into your mind around something that you're meant to um, uh, create in your life. Okay. So whatever this is. And I feel that spirit guides are also asking you to seek wisdom or seek some sort of advice um, or some sort of information around whatever this is. And whatever this thought is, rather than allowing it to remain in your mind here, Taurus, is to bring it down onto a sheet of paper. Write this thought down. Journal if you can. And if you've been seeing dreams about this, they're wanting you to write these dreams down. There's some messages coming for you. This is also intuitive downloads. Um, I don't know if any of you have been seeing number ones or number threes in your life. Spirit guides are wanting you to embody these energies. They are calling you to embody these energies. So if you've been seeing one one ones or eleven eleven, uh, if you've been seeing threes like three 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 anywhere in your life, this is spirit guides letting you know that hey, Taurus, it's time for you to embody these life path numbers. So look up the life path number one and three, Taurus. This could be a life path number that's already in your birth chart somewhere. But I feel there is almost this guidance coming in that if you're able to embrace these energies, this is going to help you along your journey. OK, so life path number one and life path number three. So new ideas, there's some sort of new cl uh, clarity, um, some sort of communication. Um, uh, what I'm also getting is like something is being revealed here in your life, Taurus, that is giving you an idea of a reality of your situation. So I don't know what this is. You're going to have to comment in the comment section and share with this with me because I feel that now with uh, tarot, remember everyone, we all are living a different life experience because we're living a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. And this is why I ask everyone to use your own intuition with my readings, because um, this in a way is something intuitive that's coming in. This is some sort of a message that is being brought forth, some sort of a truth. Maybe there's some veil that's being lifted and you're starting to see the illusions around you, right? Things that might um, look like something but are something completely different, if you understand what I'm saying here. They're being presented as one thing, but they're actually something completely different, right? It's almost like false information that maybe we are taking for truth. So what spirit guides are wanting you to do here, Taurus, is to look at all the facts, look at even the other facts, look at every angle of whatever it is that's coming into your life right now, because I feel there's a lot of illusions, especially in the world right now. So if you're someone that watches the news, if you're someone that watches a lot of stuff on the Internet, right, social media and stuff, a lot of that stuff, my friends, are illusions. OK, so make sure you look at say, for example, you have tunnel vision about something. You believe in something so much, but you don't you're not willing to look at the other side of that. This is where spirit guides are asking you look at the opposite of what you're hearing or seeing or believing and look at uh, every other angle of it as well, just to decipher and use your own free thinking, your own intuition to um, there is there's, there's there's they're showing me discernment. Use discernment here, my friends. That's a big word. They're showing it to me in big, big letters. OK, so discernment is going to be very big as you move along your journey. Make sure that you know every part of every situation that has come up here. OK, or they're wanting you to thoroughly uh, pay attention to details. I'm getting someone signing a contract. I don't know if any of you are signing contracts to pay attention to details with these contracts that you are signing some sort of paperwork. All right. Maybe you have signed a contract for a position somewhere, perhaps a project. Uh, maybe you're signing some paperwork because you're traveling. 
Um, whatever this is, is coming through very strongly here for you, Taurus. So the one and the three and the Empress card. So you're working really hard, some of you, right? You're really wanting to level up. You're wanting people to notice your hard work because you're wanting to level up in your world. And I do feel there's been some sort of a big shift, right? That change is coming in. I'm seeing it. And this is for the better for you, Taurus. So your hard work, your efforts aren't going to go unnoticed. And I know I repeated this, but I feel spirit cards are wanting you to really hear this message that you, whatever it is that you're doing here, Taurus, is going to be rewarded rewarded here okay they're wanting you to really pay extra attention what is it that's coming in your mind right now around something that you have been working hard towards there's some new information coming in that's what i'm getting here some of you may already have a business perhaps it's not working out in the way that you would like it to maybe you're not seeing the results or you're having a really hard time um, there's some something coming in that is going to clear that up okay so i want you to ask your spirit guides those of you that um, don't believe in this sort of thing, I want you to ask your spirit guides for signs or information that is going to come to you around something that you're working on. Maybe you're wanting clarity, maybe you're wanting to travel and you're signing some paperwork or you're kind of working on something that has to do with writing. This could be a book, this could be music, this could be a, a screenplay, this could be a script. Uh, this is writing for sure. Maybe this is in your journal, right? Maybe you're writing about something that you're wanting to see growth in that has to do with your efforts because your efforts, oh my goodness, your efforts, your time, your energy is going to be so worth it, especially when this Ace of uh, Swords comes into your life, okay? This inspiration. Uh, I feel like it's some sort of clarity that's coming in for you. Um, so you might be seeing some animal spirits around you somewhere, uh, Taurus. Um maybe there's a cancer or pisces energy that that's now coming in uh, maybe there's somebody around you that's a cancer pisces energy and spirit guides are wanting you to tap into that energy in some way uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave you these uh readings these signs reading at the very end so you can check those readings out to see if something resonates there for you as well or maybe there's somebody in your life that is a cancer pisces or maybe you have this somewhere in your birth chart um and almost like, I don't know, there's almost a collaboration uh, of sorts coming in here for you as well. What is this interesting energy? Teamwork makes the dream work is what I'm seeing in my mind here. So perhaps there's a Cancer Pisces around you. Maybe you're working with somebody, but they're really wanting you to kind of um, work in unison with somebody. Maybe this is at work for some of you. Maybe you're having a hard time with meeting goals or deadlines at work. So they're wanting you to kind of receive energy from somebody around you or support. Okay, this is going to level you up. And if you're afraid to ask, they're really wanting you to ask and be vocal about your needs and your wants because the thoughts about intellect, your mind and the way you speak. So if you're thinking about asking for help but are afraid to, spirit guides are just saying, go and ask for the support that you need. Maybe you need to talk to your employer, your boss, about whatever it is that's on your mind. Again, truths are going to be revealed here. So I feel for you, uh, especially if you're wanting or ask, seeking um, something to help you and you know that you need some help, it's you, spirit guides are really wanting you to ask for that assistance, Taurus. Because I feel that through this, you're going to be recognized. This is what I'm getting here. And it's almost like you're creating something in this moment as well through this whole, like a creation is coming in. I'm getting fertility energy here. So perhaps some of you are working hard. You got this idea like, okay, so we want to grow and expand our family. We're going to work really hard to create this for ourselves. And we're going to have a child and expand our family. So I'm seeing child energy coming in. Okay, and this could be a Cancer or Pisces um, child energy. Those of you that are already um, already know that you are pregnant and you're expecting a child, right? Um, what is this else that I'm? A lot of growth, a lot of expansion. You're really putting that energy out, and spirit guides are sending something in. I'm seeing blessings coming towards you, and I'm seeing stardust. I don't know if any of you have seen something that may look like stardust. If you've seen the word stardust, maybe this was on a billboard, on a sign, some sort of words that are resonating with you so hard right now, Taurus, that you cannot deny them. That's kind of the energy that I'm feeling here with some of you, that there's something there, um, something that has been nagging you, something that has been coming into your mind recently that you can't 
Uh, again, they're saying you can't deny this. Taurus, what is this? Comment in the comment section and share with us what is this that you can't deny? It's there. It's 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 almost feels like it's naggy, but it's it's uh, a nudge from the universe. Like Taurus, get on top of this. You got to take action. You got to work towards this. This is this creation that is coming up. This is this new chapter for some of you where you're going to really be in this place where you're being given the opportunity. Um, not only to, it's like almost like the seed. I'm seeing a seed coming in now. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many intuitive downloads for you right now, Taurus. A lot of energy coming through. So I do feel that there is some sort of creation, something that is about to take birth in your life, something that you have been wanting to do that's been in your mind. You've been dreaming about it, thinking about it. And I feel the best way to start this right now is to just write it down. Write it down. What is it that you're thinking about? You can even comment in the comment section. What is it that you're wanting to create? Because this is, in a sense, a creation. This is where you're wanting to grow and expand. Perhaps you're wanting a, a free life, right? You're wanting to live in abundance. You're wanting to create a home. Maybe you're wanting a relationship. Maybe you're wanting to connect and have more deeper connections with people. Uh, maybe you're wanting to connect with a boss. Maybe you're wanting to connect with a co-worker, right? Again, a teamwork makes the dream work. Asking for assistance with those that are around you because who knows, you might connect with someone at work um, through you asking for help, right? So there's something coming through here. Um, this is even around family. I feel there's almost like these ties coming in that are going to um, become much stronger and you're going to grow and expand from there. So lots of different things coming in. So this is really all in all an opportunity for some of you to really grow and expand in your lives. And you're going to see a lot of abundance. You're going to see a lot of beautiful things unfold in your lives. This is what you're going to be here is sitting on this throne like this empress right Taurus so this is the energy so I want you to visualize what it is that you are seeing in your mind what is this I want you to gain clarity on it perhaps some of you have already gained the clarity now you're seeing things crystallizing in your mind so you can take action on them and then create what it is and through your hard work and effort you're going to see everything paying off so you're going to see that success you're going to level up here in a big way Taurus so get ready for this beautiful energy to come into your lives so look at that. I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you as well. So this is the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. And um, those of you that have seen animals come into your awareness, this could be like a hummingbird. Maybe it was a dragonfly, an insect, right? Or a ladybug that you saw. Um, just the other day, I saw a huge, I'm not even kidding you, a grasshopper that was this huge on my car door. I was at the car lot. Um, I was actually trading my car in for another car and my old car is the one that had the big grasshopper. So I wanted to take a picture, but my pic my camera was inside the dealership. So I wasn't able to take a picture, but when I opened the door, it flew off. But I've never seen one that big before. I was like, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. So I don't know if any of you seen grasshoppers. Ant spirit, time to collaborate. So look at that. This is lining up with uh, three of pentacles. So if any of you have seen ants recently anywhere in your life, this is your confirmation. And if you haven't, you're seeing them on your screen. All right. So I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. And this is the very first card in this Oracle deck. So time to collaborate Taurus. When an, when an ant spirit comes to visit, it's to celebrate the benefits of working in a partnership with others as a part of a community or tribe. That's interesting because what they're showing me now is some of you are maybe shifting things and you've got this idea that you're wanting to grow and expand in a community. So perhaps some of you are moving to a different neighborhood or a different city because the city that you're the neighborhood that you're in doesn't feel um, like there's a connection there. So that's coming through now. So I had to share that with you. Spirit reminds you that to build your dream, you need to work with others, accept help and trust in your most important partnership, the one you have with spirit. Your intentions will come to fruition if you remain awake and focused on co-creating your reality with others and with spirit. Remember that the world around you can easily seduce you if you don't have some sort of practice or discipline like meditation to keep you on track as you build the life you desire. 
Connecting with others and having accountability partners can be very helpful. And it's unlikely that everyone will fall asleep at the same time. The other message Ant Spirit holds is that you are now at an auspicious time to ask for help and receive it. That's what I was getting with the Three of Pentacles. Whether you need help assembling a team, finding a new tribe, or requesting assistance from others who are there for you. Everything is working to support you right now, Taurus. Look at the confirmation that has just come through for the Three of Pentacles. That is amazing. That is beautiful, Taurus. So asking for support as you need it and not being afraid to. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you as well. So some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. All right, my friends, let's see what spirit would like you to know today. Triple five, I am optimistic. So if any of you have been seeing fives anywhere in your life, this is your message. You are optimistic here. My friends or spirit guides are calling you to be more optimistic because there's a lot of things about to shift in your lives and look up the life path number five. All right, there's some sort of a message coming through that life path number and I feel that life path five is about the freedom that some of you are seeking. All right, so let's read this card and see what it has to say. A major shift is about to come into your life experience, Taurus, and change your path's direction. Be open and stay positive. So that I already knew because of the Empress. So there is some big shift coming in. Be prepared and uh, don't resist. Allow it to come in. Um, move with the flow of the energy here, Taurus, because it's leading you towards your growth and abundance that you, my friends, are manifesting in your life. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.